Hey everyone, welcome to Meeple Bits. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Organizing Bits, where we tackle the game's stockpile and its expansions. So as we dive into this one, um, the insert, as you'll see, was a little bit more than I originally anticipated. Reason being is because when you open the base game, it's like, okay, the insert itself is not terrible. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty respectable for what it is. And there isn't much to it. And I'm like, all right, great. This should be a, a pretty straightforward, simple type of insert. No such luck. This one used probably about 500, 600 grams of filament total. So with that, we're going to go ahead and open this guy up and then uh, show you guys what I'm working with. So step one uh, to doing this insert is we are going to need to completely pull out the shrink tray. So this shrink tray and all of its stuff is going to get tossed to the side. So we're left with just a box. So what we have though is a lot of individual fractured type pieces now this this one this one got a little messed up because this one had to be printed in two uh, separate pieces as you'll see here um, I, I had to actually try to shave it down a little bit because I had tested the measurements of the box and it was a little bit off but uh, all that uh, it will still fit and it will fit very snugly in there snugly is that a word <laughs> snug uh, so we've got more and more things and more and more things so this is everything that it took to just replace a simple shrink tray. But with that guys, let's go ahead and put this one together because I am excited to finally be able to get the um, expansions into the base box instead of keeping them separate. So, all right, so to begin with, we've got this primary piece where the uh, player boards and such are gonna be held. This one will just kind of drop in. Now, I'm gonna need to uh, slide it over to the side a bit. Okay, so now that we've got that, it's ready to go. Next is these two pieces. Again, very much sort of like a, a puzzle. Now, one thing you will uh, notice is that um, I, ha I, did I ran out of this uh, real nice kind of stone marble type filament. Um, I ran out mid print on, on one of these things. So the remaining pieces are just a normal uh, white PLA plus. All right, so continuing the, uh, the journey, uh, this guy goes, I think like this. Ugh. Luckily, once we get this in here, it isn't going to need to come out. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, so these base pieces here will be able to stay in there. Now, one thing you'll notice here is there's definitely a bit of lift on the lip, which I wasn't anticipating. So if I knew, know what I know now, I would redo this and, and actually shave just a little bit off of, of each of these components to, to create uh, a millimeter or two of some wiggle room. All right, so here's what we have. We've got the base uh, piece ready to go. So with that, I think all right, this tray, I should just slide right down in here. Uh-oh, oh no, please fit. Yeah, this is, this is kind of what I was afraid of. Um, there we go. So this, this one was actually, this piece is meant to come out, if I'm not mistaken, because this, this is your deck of cards here. So this guy, yeah. So this is going to be a little tricky. So what I'm going to do here is, because I'm, I'm really doing this in real time, guys. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to take a quick editing break while I uh, shave a millimeter or two off of this one because we've got we've got a little bit of room on the lip so I'm gonna I'm gonna shave it down just a little bit so stay tuned 
10 years later. Hey guys, and we're back. Okay, so that one turned out a little bit more challenging than what I had hoped. We actually, what we, what I ended up doing is going back and, and reprinting uh, this piece. Uh, I shaved off um, a, a bit of the um, length as well as uh, some of the, uh, the width. So it now fits smoothly into its place. Okay, so with that, uh, we're gonna just continue this right along. So this is where we left off, got everything where it needs to go. This, these pieces here are all gonna stay as is. So I will have no need to take these out of the box and I've, I've already kind of ruined the corner of the box down here anyway, so good thing, because this is, it's in there. It's, it's in there tightly, it's not going anywhere. All right, so next piece is, is this guy. Uh, this is for the, um, the actual stock cards. And this one slides right here. So I needed to make sure that I had room because this here, it's, it's meant to come out. So now that I've got it kind of shaved down and uh, hopefully I, I didn't resize it too much good, it still fits the cards all set. So now this piece can slide down there. These are the money trays and they will slide in right here. Whew, that's a, that's a snug as well. Um, I, I don't think I'll need to go back and, and redo this. I might need, I might have needed to take a little height off, but it's okay. And then this is the last piece, which again, this is gonna probably fit very tightly, but uh, there we go. It doesn't need to come out. So good to go there. All right, so with that, um, I think we are ready to, uh, to just go ahead and start piecing everything together. So um, with that, what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, put these guys in here, we're gonna crack these guys open and uh, piece it all back together. Normally, what I would do is I would just kind of speed up and, and give you guys uh, that, but uh, instead on this one, uh, because I do still need to actually open and punch out one of these entirely. Uh, I'm gonna do a hard edit and then come back when we've got everything put back together. Hey everyone, and we're back. Okay, <laughs> so we've, we've mostly done it. Okay, here's what we have. Here's what we're working with. So I wanted to show you guys before I put this together, the bottom of the insert, which is everything that's going to stay in its place with the exception of this tray, which pulls out the cards for uh, for play, and this tray, which I might, I should be able to leave them in here because I can scoop everything out, but to get access to some of these tiles over here, I may need to just sort of uh, lift this tray out. Now it is pretty snug in there, but I've managed, I guess, a little bit of being able to at least get it up and out just enough. Now, this, depending on how many playthroughs I get where this may or may not frustrate me, I might reprint this one as well just to shave uh, a millimeter off of each end like I did with this guy over here. Okay, so that's the base layer. So you got uh, down here, you've got the um, all the pieces for your uh, boards. Over here, we've got the... Um, oh, man, this is... a. Uh, which expansion? The, not the continued corruption, but the other uh, one. So the one, the one that has the, uh, the the bonds markets in it. So the bonds markets go here. The uh, other one goes here, and all the rest of the uh, the cards and the investors go in this last slot here. Up here, you got meeples, you got tokens, dice, and tiles. Good to go. And then on top of the boards, we shall set our money. And first place tile, first player token goes right there. And there we have it, the completed insert for Stockpile and its expansions. For those of you that maybe purchased later, backed later, or got the game later, and you've got the big box, kudos. I've, uh, I, I've had Stockpile since probably it first got released. It was uh, such a fun game. So anyway, very excited for the uh, the pure organization of this. 
I no longer need to carry uh, extra boxes, tiles, baggies, inserts. Um, all right, so this, I'll toss it later. And then on top, we set the board. There is nice little divots just to uh, put it in right like so. Keep it in place, which will also keep things down here. And then all of the instruction books right on top. And then moment of truth. <laughs> oh, yes, it does fit. And... Oh, wow. There's there's actually n no excess uh, lip. That's surprising. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that'll do it for this one. Uh, I'm, I've got a lot of things to clean up off of my table. If you have any questions about stockpile or this insert, please leave a comment down below. I'm happy to answer them as best as I can. If you've enjoyed the video and you like the content, I do appreciate the support. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, everyone, until next time, thanks so much for watching.